So I am an individualist. The moral purpose of life is to live your life pursuing your happiness. Politics is supposed to serve that. And the only way politics can serve that, the only legitimate way politics can serve your life as an individual, is to protect you, to keep you free. Military, police, judiciary, that's it. That's the role of the state. It's not to dictate your morals for you. It's not to provide you with a job. It's not to provide you with income. It's not to tell you to watch or not to watch pornography. It's not to tell you what to think. It's to protect you from fraud and criminals and let you use your judgment to pursue your values. And as long as you're not hurting other people, hurting in terms of violating their rights, the state has no business in your life. You want to screw your life up? While the purpose of rights is not for you to screw it up, you have every right to do so. The purpose of rights is to allow the rational, the good, to live their lives well. And in every aspect, we live today in a world that is unfortunately turning its back on individualism and has been for a long time. And, and to some extent, you could argue, and I think it's true, that we've never been individualistic any more than we've, just like we've never been capitalist. Not fully, not consistently, but that's what I'm fighting for. Fighting for individualism, fighting for freedom, fighting for the ability and the right to live your life based on your judgment, and fighting for capitalism, the separation of state from economics, which is just application of that principle to the realm of property rights, to the realm of economic activity. And individualism doesn't care about ethnicity. It doesn't care about your genes. It doesn't care about your color of your skin. Individualism is about you live your life. I live my life. I don't care. I'll treat you based on your moral character, based on your ability in a particular context. I'll treat you based on how we interact. So I don't care about birth rates. And I only care about the nation in whether it is protecting my rights. How good of a job is it doing in protecting those rights? And I'll just say, I, I, I did the show uh, yesterday about Russia and Putin. And that applies for foreign policy. We have a lousy foreign policy because we try to intervene in the world. We try to use force on other people with no clear goal. We have no real confidence. We send our young men to die for no good reason. We're altruists in that we, 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 we place often the lives of our enemies that are more important than the lives of our own people. The military and our foreign policy should be individualistic. It's not. I know. It should be focused on protecting the right lives and property of Americans. And that would mean we don't fight in Ukraine. It would mean we're not going to fight for Taiwan. It would mean we should get our troops out of South Korea and let them defend themselves. It would mean an individualistic foreign policy, which is very, very rare and very, very unusual. It was, had a little bit, it had a period in America between World War I and World War II where Americans were committed to not intervening again 
in a, in a, in a, in a European war. But once Pearl Harbor happened, that was finished. And since then, the idea of America, American foreign policy and American troops being focused on defending America, and that's it, just doesn't exist. It, 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 so, anyway, so as I said, I'm against nationalism because it places the nation above the individual. I'm not against the nation. I'm very much for nation state. And I'm against any focus, any attention to birth rates. I'm very much for a focus and an insistence on ideas, on assimilation, on pride and confidence and commitment to the good ideas that America represents, that Western civilization represents. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.